Hey guys, today we're going to be travelling on CityLink's new route, the 922 from Glasgow to Troon. But before that, we have to get to Glasgow from here, Edinburgh. So let's hop on the 900. I should have filmed something in Glasgow, but I forgot, so let's get on today's bus. So, I was expecting to be on CityLink's new Yutong TCE12 electric coach, as CityLink said it would serve this route. However, I was on a Plaxton panorama. This bus here was what I thought was the TCE12, but was the T12E, and this one was on the next service down to Troon. But I didn't know this until... I passed it on the way back up to Glasgow, but anyway, I can still review this coach and the route. The bus departed on time at 10.15am from Glasgow Buchanan bus station. The journey time for today was one hour exactly and it was serving two stops. Glasgow West Campbell Street, which was a street more in the centre of Glasgow, and Troon West Portland Street, which was in the centre of Troon, before the destination of Troon Garden Place, which was right next to the ferry terminal, which leads me to why they made this route. It is for foot passengers going on the ferry as the bus stop is so close to the terminal, it is more ideal for passengers compared to taking the train. Since this route is so new, only the sixth day of running, the coach was almost empty, about seven passengers on board. The wireless charging didn't seem to be working for me and I took my case off and moved the phone around to find that spot but had no luck. Also there didn't appear to be any Wi-Fi on board but this is usually a hit or miss on CityLink's bus networks. On to the rest of the seat. There was two coat hangers, one on each side. And there was a tray table which was relatively clean. The reading light was functional and so was the USB port. The footrest also worked as expected. I don't think I could have picked a better day for this as the rest of the week was raining and this was the only sunny day.
The seats were well padded, good for intercity journey lengths, but maybe not the best for longer travels. And there's also an armrest in the middle, which is a good thing to have. The reclinability was not bad. It's the actual back of the seat that moves backwards, not just the cushion sliding forward. The lights and air vents were all working. Now it's time to take in the scenery. Since I have an under 22's concession card, it was free. I just had to pay £1 online to reserve a place on the bus, which you don't have to do if you know the route isn't busy, but you should do it if it's a very popular route. For an adult one way, it was £9.50, but a return was £10. So make sure you book it together as a return to save money. Would I go on it again? Yeah. It's a nice wee town and it's convenient for foot passengers going onto the ferry, so I would recommend it. Thanks so much for watching, please comment down below about what I should do next and don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be travelling from Glasgow to Troon, but before that we have to get to Edinburgh. Uh, hey guys, hello. Uh,